A judge in Pinellas County today took another shot at negotiating the peace between the Church of Scientology and some of its critics. This updates the latest skirmish between the church and multimillionaire Bob Minton. Minton is already prohibited from coming within 10 feet of any church property. And Judge Thomas Pennock says he'll consider enjoining some of Minton's associates. The critics now occupy a building a couple of doors down from where hundreds of Scientologists eat every day. This evening at 6, Fox 13 Steve Nichols will have the latest on a safety zone set up by Clearwater Police. Plus, the Pinellas County judge makes a decision on a case involving a lot of finger pointing that's going on. And, and I'm going to just tell you all, to sit back and have fun with this case and not let it be the case that wraps me around the flagpole. But wait, there, there's even more to his message uh, to the Church of Scientology and one of its harshest critics. You'll hear what he says coming up. First on Fox at 6.30 tonight, a balancing act between the freedom of religion and free speech. This is a legal showdown that we first told you about here on Fox 13 last Friday in Clearwater. Opponents of the Church of Scientology have moved in next door to Scientology, raising tension and challenging the police. Now, here comes the judge. Fox 13's Steve Nichols reports. All of this started with an alleged battery. Why don't you follow me across the street right now? Physical touching. Doing to me? Oh, you're attacking me now, huh? Is that what you're doing? A getting in your face. You do that again. Just do it one more time. A picket chicken situation. Judge Thomas Pennock in the case of the Church of Scientology versus the Lisa McPherson Trust versus as in Somebody round three of what could be a perpetual bout. And as long as they continue to be a totalitarian organization and we continue to deliver a message, there's always going to be clashes. A battle of wills between an affluent religious organization and a rich opponent named Bob Minton. Minton is already forbidden from coming within 10 feet of any church property. But he's moved his crew into a building just a few feet beyond that no-go zone, creating a situation his honor calls the world's greatest game of chess. And no matter how hard I sit here and watch this game of chess, I will never be able to anticipate every move. But the judge did take some action. He decided three of Menton's fellow critics might also be enjoined, including former Scientologist Jesse Prince and videographer Mark Bunker. And the court sanctioned a so-called safety zone set up by Clearwater Police. You see, Menton's new roost is right down the street from a dining hall used by hundreds of church staffers three times a day. These lines across the street and both sidewalks are supposed to be a buffer zone. It's all confusing to me too. So. But even the police weren't sure who needed buffering. His honor says just protesters mentioned by name in his court order. And as a citizen, I expect to be able to walk through that safety zone. And if Chief Klein has any questions about that, I'm in the phone book. And for a final twist, the judge told the lawyers to put his wishes in writing, putting the burden of words on them. The, the subtext is, boys and girls, try to work this out. This isn't playground one. The judge also admonished both sides to quit pestering the Clearwater Police Department with what he called chicken little phone calls. Said the judge, quoting now, the sky is not falling, so knock it off. In St. Petersburg, Steve Nichols, Fox 13 News. All right, Steve, Minton tells Fox 13 News that he respects the religious beliefs of Scientologists in general, but he cannot tolerate the church's top management. He says he thinks the church will be reformed if the top 25 or 30 leaders are removed. And now, 28 Tampa Bay News. This afternoon, a Pinellas County judge had to make a decision about a battle that's put clear water in the headlines. It's about a millionaire and his fight against the Church of Scientology. Hi, I'm Marty Tucker. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. A Pinellas County judge calls it the world's largest chess game. And if you spend any time in Clearwater, you probably know what he's talking about. This afternoon, he put restrictions on protesters outside the Scientology headquarters, ruling they have to stand 10 feet away from church members. 28 Tampa Bay's Laura McElroy is in Clearwater right now. So, Laura, will this decision deter the protesters? It doesn't look that way. They say they will still be out here every week. And in fact, there's a small group of them on the sidewalk beside me right now holding their signs. 
This is the spot where 1,200 Scientology workers show up every day by bus. They unload right here behind me for lunch and for dinner. And these protesters are trying to reach them with their anti-church message. Now, the city, to try and control the situation, has painted this white line right here along the road. And today, the judge ruled that the protesters do have to stand behind the white line. But that has not always been the case. You can see in this court tape that the protesters have a very aggressive, in-your-face approach. The picketers would sometimes block the roadway and swarm around the buses. They say they are trying to reach people who may want to leave the church but who are afraid. The judge is now holding them 10 feet back, but protesters say that will not dilute their message. Even from 10 feet away, I can still see the, the criminal, immoral, and unethical things that the Church of Scientology does. We're here basically for one simple reason, and that's to uh, expose the abusive and deceptive practices of Scientology. Without being right in our faces, you know, they just don't have a right to come right up and jam a camera at somebody or a picket right in front of somebody. Keep your distance. That's what this is all about. Well, another load of uh, Scientologists just pulled away. This heavy protesting started uh, last month when New England millionaire Robert Minton bought the building down the street and started organizing all these protesters. He says his mission is to try and stop the church from controlling and manipulating its members. But now, because of this white line and because of the judge's ruling, he will have to just uh, carry on his mission a little further back. Marty. All right, thanks a lot, Laura. The judge first placed a 10-foot ban on the lead protester, Robert Minton, last October when he was arrested and accused of hitting a Scientologist. Minton has spent more than $3 million trying to help people defect from the church.